Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Tech It Classic. And, uh, I'm just over here by a lot of Apastron's buildings. We had an idea for after he gets his solar panel factory up and running, and we get some high voltage solar arrays going, that we might turn this area back here into a bit of a solar field. Uh, I'm not sure if he brought this up in his video, but I was just wondering what sort of design do you guys kind of like? Because, I don't know, I myself am a bit partial to this one, but uh, it doesn't hold quite as many solar panels as some of the other designs. But yeah, we've like codenamed them. This is the leaf pattern, this is the stone pattern. This is the slab pattern and the basalt pattern. So, we have a lot of stuff to deal with here. A lot of EMC. Since I have replaced out the transpose, or not the transposer, the retriever with red matter furnaces, it is now doing that. And none of these have gotten backed up as far as I can tell. But we need another thing to do with this EMC, so I figured let's upgrade our red matter armor into the gem armor. End game stuff, yeah. So, in order to make these, they each need a fully charged Kleinstar Omega and various other things. Uh, I hope that there's not some sort of hot key that we accidentally press and completely ruin our base with. Uh, I'm going to definitely play around with that somewhere else, not nearby all of this. <laughs> yeah. So first off, let's get these Klein Stars filled up. Alright, so that was actually really fast, and we didn't even use up a lot of this. Um, we need to make, let's see, we need to make a body stone, which has lapis and sugar. And of course, red matter. Didn't mean to do that. Sugar. Just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down in the most delightful way. And after this, we also need to make a soul stone. Uh, how do we make that? We also need lapis for that, and then glowstone. And here we have that. And these, I believe, one of these refills your hunger if it gets low, and then the other, I think, keeps your health topped off. I don't know, here. Let's see. Let's have the body stone turned on. Yeah, it was, it looks like the soul stone, and I think the body stone keeps you f fed. So let's see here if we do something that like takes away a bunch of hunger. Come on. Okay, finally. Now if we take the body stone and activate that, it should feed us, I think. Is that how it works? I think maybe it doesn't allow you to get below a certain amount. Here, let's lose some more. And more than that. Oh yeah. If I recall correctly, it keeps you at a certain amount and then doesn't let you drop below it, but that amount wasn't completely full. Yeah, so it puts you right there when you activate it. So yeah, that's cool. I think those should be built into the gem armor. I'm not entirely sure, but that should be the case. 
And so to make the hurricane boots, we need to make two swift wolf rending gales. Good thing we've got feathers and dark matter. First we need the bands. Now we've got the two swift wolf rending gales. We've got our red matter boots. Now I don't remember what exactly it was about the hurricane boots that makes this so special, but oh wait, wrong thing, wrong thing. Okay, let's put these on. Do we like? Like I seriously forgot what it was. Can we fly without the, the thing? No, that isn't how it works. Yeah, I forgot how a lot of this stuff works, but we're going to figure out how it does after we make it, I guess. Now we need to make a watch of flowing time for the gravity greaves. Oh wait. Yeah. And a gem of eternal density. So I'm going to do that as well. Now we've got the watch. We may actually want to make another one of these because gravity greaves are pretty nice. We need more diamonds for the gem, as well as more obsidian. And so we've got the gem, we've got the watch, we've got the red matter greaves, we've got the fully charged Kleinstar Omega, and now we've got these. It looks like those don't render properly either. A bit unfortunate. We need Vulcanite Amulet. Yeah, we already have that. We're probably going to need to make another Vulcanite Amulet just because uh, I really... Oh, we get that back. Nice. <laughs> and then for the Red Matter Helm, or the, the Abyss Helmet, we need the Evertide Amulet. I wonder if we get that back as well. All right, looks like we do, so we can put these back in here and use them for whatever we feel we need to in the future. And uh, we don't look too different, but uh, first off, I need to make sure that nothing here is uh, incredibly dangerous for us to be using. Is there some sort of like control mechanism thing that I need? It doesn't look like it, but at any rate, I'm going to be just going off this way. Okay, let's go to this desert. Oh, before we do though, I would like to point out that I have filled the interior of this with glass, like glass floors. It looks pretty sweet, if I do say so myself. I couldn't really figure out a good overall design for this bottom part to keep these spiraling looking things cool uh, because I think that the amount of space between these two curves is supposed to be the same as the amount of space between these and this looks a lot smaller than those but uh, we'll just have to make do with what we have and, I don't know, maybe I'll fix it in the future, but really, I've had enough time, or I've had enough trying to deal with that. So now we're in the desert over here. Let's see. Armor, wait, armor movement powers on, armor, RM, infernal movement enhancement active. 
So this is just me holding up the spacebar that does this. So I don't even seem to need this ring of arcana. Let's see, because I can just go like, whoop. And I don't take fall damage. I wonder if there's any sort of other thing I can do. Okay, so... Oh wait, that... Aren't those supposed to be the movement powers? I, I don't fully understand. <laughs> Wait, is this letting me move faster? Hmm. At any rate, this is a bit of an interesting system. I can fly, even though I could do that already. Although it does seem to follow a more accelerating type arc. So that that could be cool. What what key do I press to do other things? Armor offensive powers. Um let's see. What are some other buttons we can press to do things? So that was that was pressing G is for the movement powers. Um, this is for the armor offensive powers. Oh! Um, is that supposed to happen? What did I just do? Like, this is, uh, a bit more than I signed up for. I don't know if I'm actually going to be using this, because if I were to accidentally... What did that do? Wait, is that if I, like, fall? No. So that's if I press C. So I just, like, flat out can... Dang. It's a bit overpowered. I mean, that's kind of the point of the mod, but... That's even more than I would have thought. Hmm. And then, like, what do I even do with this now that I have it? It's it's a bit pointless, I think. Like, I don't really want all of this stone and stuff. Uh, if I turn the armor offensive powers off... Wait, where is that? V? C? No. No, not that. V. So if I turn the armor offensive powers off, and so is there a way I can like not be destroying things with the press of the key C? Because uh, this is a bit much. Okay, so that's if I have the offensive powers on, it looks like. What if I go like this? These aren't even, like, offensive. And this is just, like, mining. It's still something that I'm gonna have to be incredibly careful with. I'm probably not gonna be using the Abyssal Armor itself for that reason, actually. But, uh, I guess it is nice to have. It is kinda cool that that's something I can do. So I wonder actually, is it the gravity greaves or is it the hurricane boots that do this? Yeah, I think it's the hurricane boots. What do the gravity greaves do? Um G. No, not that. Man, this is uh this is a bit weirder than I thought it would be. Let's go see. Let's just make ourselves a regular red matter helmet again. Or chest plate rather. Cause I don't I don't wanna risk like accidentally ruining something. That's probably why it's been banned on a lot of service I've been to.
movement power is off. Wait, is it the Abyss Helmet that does this? Because if I've got the offensive powers on... No, that does seem to be the Abyssal, or the... Yeah, wait, what was it? Infernal Armor that's doing that. See what what do these offensive powers actually do? Like I don't know what some of this stuff is actually doing. I may want to just check on the wiki or something. I'm gonna have this on my hot bar because I can. I mean, I've heard that with the abyssal armor, you can kind of turn entire deserts into glass, but I think that's a thing you can do with all of these. Like, wait, or was that with the abyssal armor specifically? I don't know. Let me see here. Offensive powers. Oh, no. Dang it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna check the wiki, guys. Find out all of the things we can do. See if they're actually cool and worth keeping. The One of the biggest reasons I can make for myself for keeping the gravity greaves, or not the gravity greaves, the hurricane boots is getting to the top of our base rather quickly because I mean you can start going up really fast let's see let's let's go over there and see how it is actually okay so now that we're in this little pond so we go up, and yeah, that's, that is significantly faster than the than just the Ring of Arcana Flight Ring on its own. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, wiki time. Alright, so I've done some research on the wiki, and I've found out that some of these features are bugged. Uh, like they don't seem to toggle correctly in single or in survival multiplayer i should say but uh, overall they seem pretty cool i honestly don't know that i'm gonna keep them to tell you the truth like the hurricane boots are overall unnecessary one of the cool things about the abyss helmet is you can uh, shoot lightning like without even like, just look at something and press R. So that's that's a cool feature. Uh, it turns out that this armor is not very blast resistant or blast proof. And because you see it has issues. Like it's, it just wasn't programmed to handle explosion damage very well. So that's one of the ways in which quantum armor is a lot better. But the gem armor does overall offer a lot more protection than the red matter armor does. Come on. I just I just want like some dark matter out of this. There we go. I guess my guessing skills are not that bad. I'm probably just gonna make some normal red matter boots to be using to put them up there mm, one of the I don't know like there are perks to using these but also like it, it's just hard to control so I don't know one of the things that I do like about the gravity crease is that you can fall a lot faster with them if you hold shift Ooh. 
So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, with the Abyss Helmet here, you can breathe underwater forever. It shouldn't go past the final bubble. Another thing that I want to make, just because I don't want to keep having to keep track of it, is the, I think, body... Yeah, the body stone. <laughs> I, I knew that, but for some reason I wasn't paying attention. I don't know why this is being as bugged as it is right now, this stuff. There we go, that seemed to have fixed it. And so we need, like, uh, what was it, sugar? And oh, we're not going to be able to get that because of the way this works. <sighs> Wrong way. Alright, so we need more sugar, wherever it is. Might be worth it to make a body stone as well. Not sure. Not entirely sure. And more sugar, and we need more lapis as well. And more red matter. So, I'm actually going to just be replacing my food thing right here with an activated body stone, so that will keep my hunger not completely topped off, but enough that I can regenerate health forever, essentially. So that's cool. Let's put these ores in here. I don't know if the thing with the gravity greaves actually works. I could probably time it. Let's see here. Let's glance over to my timer over there. They definitely help with ascension. Like, you can get up here a lot faster. So, not sure what I'm going to do about that. So this is falling without holding shift. And so, I, I want to say that that was about five seconds or so. And let's get our gravity, no wait, not gravity greaves, uh, hurricane boots working to get ourselves up. And I've heard that the, it looks like the gravity, or it looks like the hurricane boots actually slow your fall under normal circumstances, so... I'm actually going to have those off, just in case they counteract the gravity griefs. And so let's see with... Yeah, I think that was a bit faster. I don't know if it's fast enough to be worth it, but yeah, it, it is faster, so that's one thing. Part of the question I have is, what do I fill this thing with now? I mean, I could put power flowers in it, but we have more EMC than we really even need as it is, so I, I, I don't know. I just don't know anymore. Another thing we could do is we could get some tech-related stuff going in here. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure things out. We'll get it all done. I've had some ideas. Maybe we could put a mob farm in here somewhere near the top. So that we wouldn't even really have a reason to go at the top. Another idea I've had actually is we could simply cover this top bit off with glass. It actually might be best for the purpose of this if we don't have glass. I don't even know why I did that, to tell you the truth. But, uh, oh, dang it. This will work. I have this stuff on hand just because it doesn't show up by default in the transportation tablet. But essentially, if we add a bit of a collection disc around, like, the edge over here, 
and made it down just far enough that all mobs that fall will die, and then have some system to collect the drops. Not that we really need to, it honestly might be worth it more just to, for the sake of it being funny, watch them all fly off. Let's see, what are some other things we could do? Get a force field going around this, I think that would be pretty cool. I still need to remove this uh, layer, actually. Because uh, I intentionally didn't build this at the absolute height limit for this reason. We've still got, like, five blocks to work with. Yeah, five. So we could put stuff up there. We could even just have, like, a nice little room at some stage in here at some point. You know, just be like, oh, this is my living quarters. I've had another idea in case we need even more space that we could out the side here have like these little hallway type things connectors and then have smaller capsules on in all the cardinal directions yeah there's a lot of things we can do I kind of want to see if upgrading this black hole band into a void ring is worth it I mean in the worst case scenario it just doesn't end up being very good so yeah well, why not let's do it let's do it and we got the void ring I wonder if this... Yeah, so it combines the aspects of both of them, which could be good. I don't know exactly if we want this going, though. Because it, it might still have that dupe problem. Wait, wasn't this going to be the mining bag? Yeah, I think it was. Uh, so yeah, we'll just put that in there. I kind of just want the black hole band in my inventory not compressing stuff all the time. So I'm going to have to make another one of those, but no, whatever. We made that, we tested it out. Honestly, we're out of time for this episode, so I'm going to end it here. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you. Next one.